Aisha Curry teaches her daughters how to make Caribbean rolls. What's up, guys? It's Wine Down Friday. I almost said Wednesday, but who's looking at the day of the week anyway? I am so excited that it is the freaking weekend. And the cookbook comes out in three, four days. I'm so excited. Tuesday, September 22nd. And so I just wanted to get on here and cook with you guys. I feel like when you're doing um, like appearances on TV and things like that, sometimes they can be rushed. And so I love getting on here and doing the demos for you guys firsthand so you can see the actual process. Um, and I think we're gonna have some fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, put your playlists on, but we have, from Sweet July, we have a Spotify account and we put playlists up all the time. So we made a Wine Down Friday. Spotify playlist, not an ad by the way. Um, so you guys can play that and vibe out if you want while we cook. Um, the girls are obviously in the kitchen with me. <laughs> Hi. Um, and we're just gonna have some fun. So we're making Caribbean lobster rolls. It's delicious. Yeah, let's get it started. <laughs> and again, if, um, if you don't wanna use lobster or don't have access to lobster, Crab meat works great. Um, it's readily available now at the grocery stores in the refrigerated section, oddly enough. Um, little bay shrimp work. Oh, thank you, Riley. Little bay shrimp work as well. Um, and again, uh, in my story, I said if you're vegan, um, there are so many substitutions you can make to adjust this recipe for it to suit your needs. So like jackfruit, portobello mushrooms in place of the seafood, and then using, instead of the mayonnaise, like a veginase or a vegan alternative, but everything else in this recipe will work. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with our lobster mixture so that we can let it chill for a little bit while we make our cocktails and I'll answer some questions. But, oh, you should probably hold it up. Yummy. Here's the book, you guys. I'm so excited. It's so funny, it's like birthing a baby. So this is technically what my fifth baby and I'm so excited, um, put my heart into this. The whole team did. Um, why I love it so much is because it's a perfect representation of my life right now, as I'm sure many of yours, just chaos. Um, and the goal these days for me is to just get the meal on the table. So we're gonna chop up our celery. Mama. What did you say, Stefan? You want to address how inspirational you are right now? <laughs> Mama. You know what? I'm not messing with you. Mama? Yes. No, because we don't have your kid's knife out here. We can have these knives right here. No, the no, butter no, knife. no. The butter knife. No, not this time, okay? But I will let you, why don't you help me garnish? You can put the seasoning into yeah. the mixture once we get there. Yes. But again, just chopping up Some our celery. You can also watch the technique how she's doing it. What did you say? You can also watch the technique how she's doing it. The technique? Yeah. There's not much technique to this. I will say when, when I'm holding a knife, typically I use a chef's knife. We're uh, cur not currently um, at our home and so I don't have all of my I don't have all of my tools that I traditionally use, so this is the knife that was here, so this is what I'm using. But, so you don't cut your fingers off, I really do recommend holding the knife with your index and your thumb right there on the top of the blade to give you a steady hand. Just, just, just what I like to do. Instead of just holding it by the handle, I find you don't get as good of a, a, a handle on, on what you're chopping, so. All right, so I'm just gonna proceed. See? I like that. Proceed. <laughs> we can't see you, Mama. You can come over here. Okay. So, girls, you remember when I was creating the cookbook, right? Yeah. What would you say was your favorite thing that I have made so far from this this cookbook? Um, what would you the say? Pasta. The pasta. I mean, Which pasta? Um, Oh, I know, I know which one. What? Which I one? like the pasta, the red pasta. I like that one. 
the roasted red pepper pasta. Okay, yeah, that's a winner. Roasted red pepper um, pasta instead of the traditional like red the sauce. We use roasted red peppers from the I, jar. It's I, great. I love, I, love, I, love, I love the one yeah. that you made. Lasagna? There's no yeah. lasagna in this book. <laughs> I love but I'm glad you like lasagna. I love lasagna. Ryan is definitely our adventurous eater. I'm surprised she's like lasagna. I like and I like oysters. She loves her some oysters. So as you chop, just put everything in the bowl. It's all gonna mix together. I have an apple here. I like to leave a green apple, very important. Um, I feel like the acidity is a little bit higher. They're firmer, more crunchy, and you want that little bit of tang because we're actually not gonna put lemon juice in this. So the acidity from this apple is gonna take care of it all. So I'm just gonna chop this. Boom. What I love to, I think if somebody asks like, what's your style of cooking? I would say relaxed. Um, I like for things to be somewhat easy. What's your dish called? What's my dish called? Yeah, what, what we Caribbean doing? lobster rolls. Caribbean lobster rolls, I heard Caribbean that. Caribbean lobster rolls. Mm. You see Stefan's braid up? Do you guys like his new style, his braids? I love him with some braids. You can see the tip of his braids right here. Just. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna chop up our apple. This is gonna get a bit of a, blah, 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 blah. This is gonna give it a nice crunch. Here you go. Get ahead of the game, because I know they're gonna ask, so. Into the bowl it goes. Mommy, yes. you Thank you, Riley. Thank you very much. Mama. So again, just chopping Mama. up our apple, yes. I like the first, like, um, the first page of the book. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Like the one that, like, is hard, and it's like, um, what were your faces on it? <laughs> the hair is on it, and the nose, and the oh, nose. Oh, thank you, and, thank you. And I love the Ryan, Ryan's also our love bug. Yes. Riley is adventurous, just in life. Yeah. And I would say you're extremely smart and kind. You've been such a great big sister to your sister and brother lately, so. All right, so in goes the apple. Yes, baby? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing, don't worry about it. So just chopping up the apple, just one apple. Again, we want that little bit of sweetness, a little bit of crunch. Um, honestly, in my opinion, this is the most difficult part of making this dish is chopping everything up. It's all downhill, it's all up. <laughs> Wait, how do, you, how do you say that? No, it's all gravy from here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You like the noise, I know. You hear the crunch? It's so crunchy. All right, so in goes the apple. I'm just gonna set this here. You guys can eat this if you want. Oh, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, two yeah. for you. Two for two me. Two for you. All right, um, now we're gonna start layering in that flavor, so. The apples make it healthy. One apple a day yes. the doctor. <laughs> you gotta say it louder, what did you say? Pop. The apple apples make, make it healthy me. because one apple a day keeps What'd you do in church? Spelling, spelling Caribbean wrong. Listen, no, I'm not... I, spelled, I spelled it with a J. I don't know why I can't tell you. You spelled it with a J. He's here I can't replying tell you. to your comments and spelling things wrong. <laughs> I appreciate you, but uh -huh. auto, that autocorrect. All right, so a quarter cup of mayonnaise. If you're doing it the vegan way with the mushrooms or the jackfruit, quarter cup of your veginase or whatever alternative you're using right there in the bowl. See, this is where it gets good. So we have our curry powder. This is where the island comes in. This is where you, this is where the playlist originated, right? So we put the curry powder in there. I've, I personally have never had um, a lobster roll with curry in it. And so I said, hey, that, girl, you are chewing away. I said, hey, that would be fun. So, well, I did try something new when I created this dish for the book. Um, and we fell in love with it, Wait, so. I have a, a little salt. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. Do you like come up with these recipes? Like, I do. You just throw in things and then like see the taste of it and then you like make it into a dish? Yeah, I feel like most times, sometimes, well, when we were able to just 
go into the grocery store and do what we want. I would go in and see what looked yummy and fresh and kind of get my inspiration from there. Um, but now I kind of, or the way I did this was I, I did it a, a bit nostalgic. So I would think of a moment that made me really happy and that I wanted to keep the memory of it alive. And almost always when I do that, it takes me back to a dish. So most of these recipes um, are influenced by moments. Does that make sense? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like yes, child. Yeah, some childhood, some adult. Ryan, what's your question? I have a question. Quarter teaspoon of onion powder. This is gonna be a curry. It's what? What is the What is the no, the dish you're making. Oh, Caribbean lobster roll. This is gonna be curry, calibering, <laughs> lobster roll. Caribbean, calibering, lobster roll. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Chuka. Oh, my best friend and my god baby just got here and I'm so happy. <laughs> and there they go. So, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, some black pepper. I'm gonna take the top off of this because it's just easier that way. Do, 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 do. In it goes. And then we are gonna mix this together and see where we land. Sometimes depending um, on how much lobster was in those shells, you might need to add a little bit more mayo. Um, it just depends. So eyeball it. Does it look good? good? It's like, um, it looks like salad. <laughs> It pretty much is like a seafood salad that you put into a bun. Mommy. Put a little bit more curry. Mama. Yes, baby. I'm excited. Yummy! I'm excited. I just want to eat it now. Because always when you like cook me, I want to see like a sizzling noise. Oh, I know. Well, we're going to toast some buns in a second, so there'll be a little sizzle. Okay, this looks great. I'm going to just taste it. You always want to taste once you feel like you're done Daniel with a clean said, spoon the buns. and just check for <laughs> Mommy, can I taste it? <laughs> and just check for uh, salt content if you need to add more salt. Can I taste it? Hmm? Yeah, sure. Can I taste it, Mommy? I want to taste it. How's it looking? Mm. I want to taste wanna it. You want to taste it? Okay, one mm. second. I want to. Good? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Fire. You want to taste it? You ready? Give me your hand. This is good. <laughs> Why are you scared? This is good. Mmm. Okay, I don't need to add any more salt or anything. This is gonna go in the fridge and chill while we make the cocktail. It's that easy, you guys. It's that easy. It's the yummiest thing in the world. In the fridge? I love you. In the fridge? In the so freezer? Um, she's been chewing this whole time. In First was apple. In the freezer. In the fridge, please. Actually, you know what? Since we're gonna, since it's not gonna sit for a long time, you can actually pop it into the freezer. It'll chill faster. Um, put some of this in the sink, and then we are going to, <laughs> I'm gonna set this aside for when we uh, garnish after. So, let's talk buns. Talk buns? Really quick. Um, you can literally use any type of bread um, and put the, the lobster prep or shrimp mixture in. Yes, so we call for- so we call for hot dog buns, just your traditional hot dog buns. They they now sell a lot of places the top open buns um, that are traditionally used for lobster rolls. If you can't find those, you can do what we're doing. I uh, found this gorgeous bread right here that I want to use because I want to do jumbo. And one even. You could use burger buns if you want and do it sandwich style. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. So we're gonna um, slice off the top here so that it gets, when we put the butter on it and sear it in the mm. skillet, it gets nice and golden brown and delicious and slice it down the center. So we'll get to that. But let's move on to the cocktail. Girls, I am going to swap you out. I will make you a mocktail. Um, but yes, let's swap you out while wow. Like you can go, you can go um, sit right here and watch me from over here. But... I love you guys. Okay, all right. Love you guys. Adios. Okay. Yes. I said what? You can definitely help me garnish. Yeah. 
So we're, I'm just gonna load it up right oh right in there. Look at that, you guys. Easy peasy. And again, I always preface this in these lives, but if we weren't talking this through, mm -hmm. right? It'd be done in like 10, 15 minutes. One, two minutes to steam the lobster if you have to cook it, unless you found store-bought lobster. Uh, I mean, unless you found um, pre-cooked lobster. Um, like what, two minutes to mix it all together. Two minutes to chop your apples and your celery, that's six minutes. I mean, guys, it would be done in a flash. And if you're using the crab meat or the bay shrimp that are pre-cooked, then it's even faster. So let's garnish this baby up. Oh, looks just like the book. So pretty. Oh yeah, come, 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 come. Here, here's some for you. And so, yep, yeah, just sprinkle it on there, baby. Oh man. Like it? Oh, let your sister go. I feel like it's a we're family, on sugar rush. family thing. I feel like you we're you, on sugar you gotta rush. speak loud. Wait, this I feel is like we're on sugar rush, but like um, like a dinner Ooh. one, like a dinner one, and yeah, right it's Jamaican. Yes. You love that show, huh? Oh no. Oh, very nice. That was, that was a lot. All right, girls. This looks perfect. Let's show them how gorgeous. Oh, Sorry. I want Let's to Let's show eat them it. how gorgeous our yummy toasted lobster roll. You know what else you can do that I really like to do? Let me just grab it out of the little drawer here. I think it's so yummy and brings in a little bit of the traditional side. Somebody asked, what are you using to garnish? I use flat leaf parsley today. Um, and I'm gonna sprinkle with a little bit of paprika. <laughs> just because I'm trying to impress you guys. What was, what, but, was the, um, what was the garnish? Flat, Riley just asked that. Oh, sorry, I missed Flat that. leaf parsley, or you can use chopped green onions, scallions, I call them. Um, I did a little bit of paprika on there just to make it pretty. See that? And that's all there is to it, you guys. Chooch, do you want to come taste this on Mommy. camera? Mommy. And give an honest review? Mama, can I taste some of it? A mukbang? No, Mama, we're not doing a mukbang. Mommy, can I see What is that? Something? Yes, yes. I'm gonna make you yours right now. But mommy, What's what? Can I Let me another scoop of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna serve you some. Oh, yeah. See, she likes it, you guys. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> it's Dude, you wanna come try it? Okay. Wait, don't pull the cord. Be sure to like, oh comment, oh and God. subscribe. Wait, what? You gotta come and describe what you're. What you're... <laughs> he said. You got mayonnaise. He on said there. bite. You gotta come and describe what you're tasting. Heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. We're back. What does he say? A nice little kick of what? The curry powder. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys. Here, Chush, this is yours. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Here. All right, guys. Well, wind down Friday. I'm ready to get off of here so I can turn up the volume and bust a wine for real put these girls to bed after they eat their lobster rolls. And maybe have another one of these. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for the past 45 minutes. I really appreciate it. Um, again, my cookbook. What's it called? What's it called? I don't know. <laughs> the full plate. The full plate? The full plate? Yes, I, I know that. Cut. Ryan, you, I swear you crack me up, girl. That was so the full is what? Did you guys hear what she said? She said, I thought it was called the yummiest cook. See, they stay gassing me. It's crazy. So the full plate out on Tuesday, September 22nd. So this coming Tuesday, I'm so excited. That's a pinned comment by your boy. A pinned comment? Oh, thank you, too. She pinned a comment. Oh, thank you. I didn't see it there. Um, so many easy recipes like this. Some, a lot of them are even easier than this. Um, but again, the whole goal, let's get the meal on the table so we can create moments. Um, and you can create moments too while you're cooking the meal, right? Make it fun, involve your kids, let them have a hand in making the food. They will most likely be more willing to try new things. Um, and yeah, pre-order it so you can get it on the actual day it comes out and so you don't have to go into the store. I want everybody to stay safe. Um, so with that, happy Friday.
Enjoy your evenings. It's just starting to be evening in the Bay Area or in the West Co on the West Coast. Um, and again, thank you guys so much. Until next time, I think I'll do one more of these in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Newborn Arrival.